window. How you doing, buddy? Good. Good to be here. Yeah, always good to see you in this setting. Um, so a couple questions I want to ask you that have nothing to do with your career. Cool? All right, cool. Okay, cool. Because um, I know you're, you're getting married. It's all cool. Love it. You look happy. All that. I just went through that. Yeah. So like a few years ago. So it's, it's awesome to see because you and I talked about that so many times Absolutely. on this show. Absolutely. For, for both of us. I know. You literally, I was sitting right there yeah. when you said you got to make it happen. It's not just going to happen. And I don't think you, and I think, who knows what I, I know, but I don't think like you forced anything. I think it no. came and you were actually open to it, which was the hardest thing to do. Yeah. So. It's, uh, I, I, it's still it's hard to believe it happened at the time it did. And it was just perfect timing. How involved are you in the wedding planning process? Uh, just saying yes. Uh, okay. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> That's uh, she's doing a lot of it, but where I got into trouble, same, right? Same where I got into trouble was I didn't present my availability. I was just like, well, you're doing it all. Right. What I should have done and my advice to you, cause I just went through this and we're both, you know, we're not 22. No, we're both s established. Yep. It would be just to say, Hey, whenever you need me to do anything, I'm happy to go anywhere with you. Right. I didn't really do that. Yeah, that's probably uh, you. We're right in the middle of it now, and you know, I'm I'm there to help when I can. But I know this is her I day, you. and yeah, no, no, I hear you though. But I'm just saying, <laughs> yeah. even right, if she never that uses that, yeah. it's just like, hey, I would. When you need me, I would let let me know. Yeah, because then absolutely. it can never be used against you that you had nothing to do with it. Right. Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, I'll, uh, that's good advice. How did you propose? I um, we were heading to the ACMs last year, and I um, on the way out of town where. The uh, video shoot for Some Habits is kind of, that was like our first date kind of deal and just dawned on me. I was like, I I wanted to do it in uh, Texas, but I just thought on the way out of town, we'd stop by where we did the video shoot. So that's where I, I did it on that little dirt road. We shot the video and. Um, did you record most, it? Did you have to record it? Yeah. Uh, they, uh, I had my camera guy out there. So there's clips of it. We hadn't really released a lot of it, but. Was um, he hiding in the woods? Yeah. It's somewhere in the field out <laughs> that's there. That's weird. But yeah, yeah. It was, uh, <laughs> man, that's most nervous I've probably ever been in my life other than talking to her dad so yeah it's nerve-wracking to ask even though you know the answer or it's probably, right because the same yeah. way like I was nervous but I felt like she was gonna say yes yeah but I, I mean you're, you're just there and at one point I kept repeating myself I was like just ask her this is getting out of hand here how did uh, dad talk <laughs> go it was fine you know person I, uh, or phone what's that in no person. in person yeah at, at her house she grew up in and that was definitely more nerve-wracking than than asking her to marry me, just because I I can't imagine being a dad and having a daughter, and I don't know that I would think anybody's good enough for you know. So, and he's just he reminds me a lot of my day. He's just a great guy, and her whole family. I mean, I think you know losing both your parents so young to have a second chance at you know a family like that. And I still have my brothers and some uncles and aunts and stuff, but they are just I mean I don't know. It just reminds me of my family, and uh, that's a big part of. You know the whole deal getting to you marry into a family like that and i just think it's been it's just been a blessing that's cool that you say that i don't you know have a mom or a dad and so but her parents my wife's parents my in-laws are awesome yeah i mean that's a big deal that's a big part and of it, it i feel like and it just they've taken me in and it's it's like a literally like a second chance at um having something like that so I said on the air the last couple of weeks, like, I never thought I would really love them. I thought they'd be my wife's parents. Right. And I'd be exactly. like, I'd always, exactly. like, I love them. Well, you hear stories. I know it's like, it could be a, a yeah. nightmare, but that's that what is I not, that's, we're, yeah. we're lucky then because that is, uh, they're great people. Did she know you were going to propose? I mean, I think she had a, a clue, but she thought I was going to do it somewhere else. We love uh, Pinewood Social. That was one of our first, like, coffee spots and stuff. So she thought I was going to do it there. But um, I think when she saw me, you know, wearing something on the bus that I probably wouldn't normally When he's in a tux? <laughs> no, I'm not. And he's practicing a, a song no, called, a, I'm proposing today. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, I, I, she didn't know where I was going to do it or whatever, but I think, obviously, I mean, she, uh, I had to let her know. You can't just surprise somebody like that and her not be Like her ready. nails? Like, right, yeah, all, yeah. Oh, yeah. They were done. Yeah. She, uh, she had a clue, but I honestly thought she um, thought it was going to be in Texas anyway, so. Okay, so you, you brought up ACMs going there. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Again, this is just me asking you because I feel like I can. Yeah, even if it's absolutely, uncomfortable. Dude. Um, did you get heat for not thanking her and when you won? Because you just proposed and I. Oh, I, did I not thank her? I no, just, no, no. I just wonder. <laughs> you looked that up. Did anything? I didn't. I mean, those kind of moments. It's like the proposal. It's like I don't. I'm not used to that situation. You know, I haven't won many awards, so I, I mean, I'm sure I left a lot of people out. And um, yeah, yeah, but, but no I'm heat. Glad from I got her. to be up there. What's no, that? no, like, well, you didn't even. Th nothing was said. 
You know, I would I'm sure she thought it. She yeah. she didn't bring that up. She was letting me, I guess, have the moment. We got to enjoy it together. But now that you bring it up, I'm better apologize. Good as soon for as you. I get out of here. It's just things I wonder because I <laughs> thanks, Bobby. Like I'm in a time machine, like two years ahead of yeah. you. You know. Yep. Okay. Uh, one other question about this thing. Um, RSVP. I never RSVP to anything in my whole life. Like I never. I was like, who cares? RSVP. But when I was having a wedding. And people wouldn't. I'll be like, "Why aren't people telling this is me?" Hilarious. No, I know exactly how you feel. I'm like, I'm not feeling that out. I'm not. Yeah, not dressed. That's what I would do. Who cares? Absolutely. And then when it's you, though, it's it's a little different. And just to get into that, the invitations and who you only have so many people, and it's just like I don't I don't like hurting people's feelings. And this is going to be an issue probably. And that's just uh, we're doing a little small thing um, for the ceremony, then having a reception. But it's uh, it's already. I don't know. Who do you? You can't send out enough invites. I feel like everybody deserves to be there that I know, but it's it's just tough. So. And then the people that you pick to come when they don't RSVP, you're like, why did I even pick but, you there? Yeah, exactly. I could have picked. Yeah, I yeah, could have picked somebody, somebody that would RSVP <laughs> and click the steak or the chicken, and now <laughs> yeah. I got to do both because you won't freaking answer. Yeah. Okay, that's all. I just those were the questions. Dude, absolutely, I've been waiting to ask you about well, personal. I love talking about it. Uh, it. Used to make me uncomfortable because I didn't have much to talk about. So now it's uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just happiest I've ever been, and just. Uh, not just career-wise now. It's uh, There's more to life than the music, and I, I'm, I'm loving it. So I'm going to play Forever to Me. It's a perfect way to get into that. Yep. Um, so you wrote this with, with a couple guys, Graylin James and Rocky Block. It makes sense that this song I played after because of the situation, the excellent, wonderful situation you're in now with your life. But is that why you wrote it? Yeah, we were. Uh, I wrote it before the national championship back in January. We were out there. I had a show the night before, and I was just telling Gator in there um, – we we're about to go to bed and uh, they were talking about Courtney and they were like, we need to, do you have a, a song, you know, like that for her? And I was like, I've written a couple, but nothing I think is good enough yet. And um, they were asking about her and I said, she's forever to me. And they both looked at each other and just crazy. Usually I'm the one that catches something like that. Like that needs to be the song, but I was just talking and those sometimes that's how the best uh, song starts. So we ended up writing it almost was, we were almost late to the game, and um, I told him I didn't care. We got to finish it. It just was the lyrics were flowing, and it just felt felt special. So uh, the fact I get to put it out and you are playing it, man, it's um, it's a different feeling when it's you know personal like this. So. Hey, I want to do some Georgia trivia with you. Oh boy, at your home. It is. It's been a while. <laughs> yeah, but it's still your home. Absolutely. My home's yeah, Arkansas. I always call it home. I, you know, I dominate Arkansas trivia. Yeah. I, I just want to throw some Georgia at you. Uh, Georgia's state nickname. Peach State. Boom. What, what's he so worried about? Yeah, I was perfect. It's embarrassing Damn if I don't it. know it. I'm going to miss one. Come on. What's the capital of Georgia? Atlanta. Boom. Two for two. Wow. <laughs> There's only six. Oh boy. What famous beverage was invented in Atlanta in 1886? Coca-Cola. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Hey. Come on. What river forms part of the eastern boundary of Georgia? Uh-oh. What river forms part of the eastern boundary of Georgia? struggling here the hoopy i don't know oh i'm sorry that is a, a golf club golf, that, yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that was it, thinking golf so. but um it is the savannah river savannah i should have known i was yeah. born in savannah that's terrible mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool. i know oh, man. just send him home oh he's out <laughs> let's go to a hoopy i feel like river questions are okay to miss do you yes okay all right two left let's see how he does what's the state what? <laughs> there's no way what's the state tree of georgia there's no, no way. He knows it. There's no way. He'll never get this. I didn't even know this was a specific tree. It's not where the... I wish it was a pine tree, but it isn't. I don't it, know. No, it, it, it's, it's not just an oak. It's a live oak. Live oak. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. I would have thought Georgia pine. See? Yeah. No, that makes sense, but I don't even think I know the state tree of Arkansas. Pine. But it, you don't have the same... Dead oak. Uh, <laughs> that's Arkansas. Now, why does one tree get to be the tree? But it also, it? peaches come from trees, so could it be the peach tree? Oh, it's wow. Not. I mean, peach tree city? I don't... Live Oak, also my nickname in college. If you know what I, mean. <laughs> I, don't, I don't. Okay, and finally, <laughs> you, if you get this, I will give you 500 bucks right here. <clears throat> Let's go. He's never going to get it, though. I don't know anybody that would know this unless you're, like, working for the state or, like, in politics. What is Georgia's state motto? Yeah. That would be, like, um... Millions of peaches. So like would peaches you, uh, for me. That would be a good yeah. one. Can we change it? <laughs> You'll know. It, this is I impossible. It's I, possible. I don't, what it, tell me what it is, because I was... I, There's three sorry. words. Wisdom, justice, and blank. And you should not be embarrassed, because nobody would have got these. Wisdom, justice, and... Truth. 
That's a good guess. Peaches for all. Freedom. Peaches. Mo- moderation. 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 What does that even mean? Nice. Dude, who knows? Wisdom, that was a, what? Uh, the other uh, sudden death one was uh, what school is located in Athens, Georgia? Oh. You know that one? What school is located in Athens, Georgia? Yeah, it's a tough <laughs> one. University of Georgia? <laughs> yeah, it's I was going to say that. Truett. Okay, McConnell. okay, how about this one? <laughs> what famous golfer was born in Cypress Point, Georgia in 1975? Oh. This is a tricky one. What Hold famous on. golfer? Yep. 1975. I got it. You know it? Yeah, I got it. Bubba really? Watson? Mm-mm. That's Great it. Oh, guess. That was my guess. Not right, though. Tiger Woods. Are you Whoa. kidding me? That was my Whoa. guess. I should have said fact. it. Fun fact. Fun yeah. fact. Were you really? Well, you it's mostly because it's the main golfer it's I know. It's the only golfer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, I did not know. I'm proud. See? Whatever. Proud I know Chi Chi Rodriguez. You're more okay. proud of Georgia because Tiger was born there? Well, I mean. That, that lifted I, your pride? Your state pride? I love Tiger Woods. I know. I probably should. Yeah. No, Tiger Woods is awesome. Have you ever met Tiger Woods? I have not. That's one person I would I'd love to Who's your to list of top five people you've never met that are still alive that you'd like to meet? Mm. Cole Swindell's here. We're putting him on the that spot. Tough. You know, I've never never met George Strait. Boom. Wow. Oh. Well, that's crazy. That's cool. Uh, that's cool. That's cool. I'd love to, yeah. love to meet him, obviously. Tiger's one of them. Tiger's number two. Um, yeah. Have you met Jordan? I have. I re- just recently. You met Michael Jordan? Did you was, play golf with him? A, I didn't get to play golf. Thank God. I don't have enough money to Shake gamble with him. But I did. Yeah, I got to... How? Um, hang out with him after a round and at his course at the Grove. What Have the? you been down there? That's why would that's I go? Do, how, how would I go down there? Huh? How would I go down there? You and Cole and Kane Brown are the same. They're like, hey man, you been down to Tiger's course? <laughs> how would I? Or not Tiger, but what Michael's course? Talking Sports? about like, you do more cool stuff no, than anybody I know. That's all AI. I fake it. Um, a, <laughs> okay. Anybody? Did anybody else come to mind? Um, Just give me one more. You haven't met. Yeah, that would I know. Be cool. I'm trying to. Tough. Um, In the sports world specifically, who would you like to meet? You ever met Del Murphy? I've not. I've spoken with him, and he sent me a, a jersey. Oh, but he cool. was one of my heroes. Him and Randy yeah. Travis growing up, like I, I, I don't know, it's two Murphy's different worlds. But awesome. uh, Chipper Dale Jones Murphy was Chipper. I know Chipper. That's yep. a buddy of yours, right? Um, yeah. But yeah. who else? I don't know. It's tough. I He's mean, two. not in the That's sports it. world, but Will Ferrell. I'd like to the Pope. I've never met the Pope. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He didn't want to meet me. <laughs> exactly. Think. You can uh, check call out on the Win the Night tour. And get tickets at coleswindell.com. And starting May 30th in Boston, and it runs in a lot of the cities that our show's in, and you're all over the place. You do a great live show. Um, you know, I think people should go. So there, I said that. Thank you. I want people to know they should go. and Go to coleswindell.com to see it. I have a couple more questions for you. Would you rather never have another no, – would you rather never have a number one again or the Braves never win a World Series again? Ooh. Oh, man. I mean, I need need my career to keep going, so I'm gonna have to. I can't say that either. Yeah, I'm gonna go, Braves got to win a World Series. <laughs> okay, good. Careful. That's Don't, a good answer. Either yeah. that's just what you say because yeah. it's really not real. No, I'm, a, I'm going to the game. <laughs> Die hard Braves night, fan. So, yeah, yeah, there you go. Um, so here you are. It's like uh, you're like you're not the kid anymore. When we first met you. You were like the kid. Yeah. Now you're like a real adult. Like, is your songwriting, uh, do you feel like it's a little more adult? Like, it's not so much just well, no, I think, partying up? And- yeah, absolutely. No, and I, like I said, I'm just glad that I've had a chance to be around this long to kind of, you know, grow up in, in music with my writing and everything. And I think this phase of life I'm in, I'm getting to, like this next album, you know, I get sent songs. I'm like, that is a huge hit, I feel like, but I, I can't pull that off anymore. And I, I don't, it's not me anymore either. So it's just, uh, I think this next album will be more. Uh, when is the know, next album? I don't even know. Uh, this year. I mean, probably, you know, later, later this year. But I'm excited from obviously Three Feet Tall, Forever to Me. People were like, is this going to be all tear jerkers? Or I'm like, no, we're going to have some different stuff. But I just think it's, you have to be careful, you know, what you're singing. I want to believe it and I want people to, you know, believe what I'm singing and what I'm writing. So I, um, it's just going to be different. I feel like a little more, hopefully, mature and, um, I'm just glad that I, you know, get to kind of tell my story through my songs now. So, do you ever have any songs that you wrote and you regret you not recording songs that you wrote? Not just songs that you passed over because right. somebody, but like you wrote them and you're like, ah. I mean, yeah, there's still some that, and I know it probably bothers the writers I wrote them with more than me. It's like, how do you not record that? And it's just, you know, there's no really reason. It's just maybe I didn't. Give me it one. Didn't fit at the time. Give me one. Um, that you're like you're, you're so proud of it, and you're like, man, it just, I just. I'm gonna pass it on. Oh my gosh! Give me one. Um, you can do it. I know. I'm. I'm trying. I'm trying. I. I, uh, I mean, I can give you a couple that I think are good. Well, tell me. Like uh, I think the <laughs> Billy Currington "Summer Forever" song. Oh yeah. 
Yeah. That was a good one. I think you would have sang that one. It had been really good. Right. And, I, I mean, obviously that, that other people have recorded, I think um, – Roller coaster, was roller really coaster good. would have been Luke, that, that was, oh, but that at that good. point it was just, I couldn't believe that Luke was recording. I remember when he heard it. It just, yeah, that would be I'm sure probably the writers, my number one. That, they were okay with that. Yeah, no, me and yeah. just me and Michael <laughs> Carter, man, that was. Uh, <laughs> we didn't even know what we were doing. Couldn't. I don't think Luke could believe it either. But that was uh, that's a special one. I, I, but honestly, I can't say I wish I would have recorded it because that. I mean, those songs that before I got my record deal kind of put my name out there, and that ultimately landed um, me where I am. So. Ray, if you give me a little bit of music, we're going to throw Cole under the bus one more game here. I just like it. It's fun. I can do it to him. Top 10 famous musicians from Georgia. Oof. Okay. Um, Cole, top 10 famous musicians, any format from Georgia. How many can you get? Top 10? Mm -hmm. Let's go. Give me one. Give me one. Alan Jackson. Alan Jackson is at number four. Correct. You're still alive. Nice. Now, when you miss one, you get shot with paintball. So just be ready. Yeah, you don't know where it's coming Hailing. from. Go ahead. Um, Famous Otis Redding. musicians. From, and number two, Otis Redding. Wow. Great job. Nice. How'd you know that? Well, he's from Georgia. Ah, yeah. Makes sense. <laughs> Ray Charles? Number one, Ray Charles. Georgia. Hey, and Otis, come on. It's good, Jim. Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. There's seven left. Top 10 famous musicians from Georgia. Jason Aldean. Jason Aldean did not make the list. That's strike one. There are three strikes. Shoot him. There are three strikes in baseball. Oh, don't shoot. Put the gun away. Oh, yeah, put yet, the paintball gun away. <laughs> All right, you got two two strikes left. Go ahead. Gosh, this is... Yeah. It's... I should know this. I know. Yeah. Uh, wow. you, you're doing okay. Top 10 famous musicians, artists from Georgia. You got Ray Charles at one, Otis Redding at two, Alan Jackson at four. Hmm. I don't even want to give you hints, but if I did, no, I would, I I'd say thank you to your friends. <laughs> that would be a good one. <laughs> yeah. Is Luke Bryan on there? Luke Bryan's at five. I mean, good. Cole, what on earth, Jeez, man? man. I'm sorry, Luke. <laughs> yeah. I just thought I was. Yeah. Like, Aldean. <laughs> um. <clears throat> there are no. Is Trisha yeah, Yearwood on there? There's one. Uh, no. Trisha Yearwood. Should she's be. From, uh, where's she from? I thought she was from Mississippi. That's Faith Hill. I'm getting yep, Faith Hill. Faith, Hill. Okay. Yeah, Trisha's from uh, No, two strikes. Strike two. Yeah, shoot All him. Right. All right. No, one more, Eddie. Not yet. Okay. Wow. Two of them are rappers. Oh. <laughs> Can I say Outcast? Yeah, Andre 3000 from Outcast. Boom! T.I. on there? Uh, no, T.I. did not make it, so shoot him. All right, I'm uh, out. Who, name him. I got, you I have James notice. Brown at number three. Yeah, yeah Augusta. I know. I know. Zach Brown at number eight. I should have named him. The other rapper was Ludacris at nine. Luda. Luda. You have Little Richard. And then you have at number 10. Oh, there is another country artist, Travis Tritt at 10. Oh. Yeah. Dang. Sorry, Cole Travis. wasn't on there. Uh, uh, no, eleven. We didn't Aldine's do top eleven <laughs> though. We didn't do top eleven. Aldine and Trisha, I'm I'm <laughs> no, good. We didn't top eleven. Uh, dude, congratulations on everything. Thank you so really. much, you man. Got, Thank you, you all for having new me. New song that's great. It looks like your personal life is getting uh, extremely complicated in the most positive way, and that's yep. what we're looking for. You know. Well, thanks for the advice. I'm looking forward to. Seeing y'all next time. Yeah. Oh, he's already out. Okay, well. All right. See you, man. Expanding. All right, see, see you. Bye, Cole. No, there he is, Cole Swindell, everybody. <laughs> Save the gift that we're going to give him. He's out of here. There he is, Cole Swindell. There he is. <laughs>